Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Day Alive Season 4, which is on Episode 7, or Day Alive 4 se on Episode 7, or however you want to call it. Anyways, this episode right here looks like it involves Mukuro, and it looks like to me she's going to have a little trouble with what's to come. So if anything else, let's just get this started. Um, We have to it that it looks like to me Mukuro and... Shido ends up going on a date on the first uh, on somewhere of the first half, and it looks like to me Mukuro asks Shido if um Shido loves her, and Shido says, "Yeah, I love you, just like the other spirits here and there." I understand that, like him, you don't want me to get near near anyone else, but I want to help him as much as I want to help you and love you. You know, Mukuro seems to understand the situation and tells Shido, "Like, let me handle the rest, okay?" So, see ya. Eventually, when it comes to Shido the next day, things are a little bit different now. It looks like to me every spirit or person he met seems to forget about him, you know, etc. And we have to, eventually, he found out it was Mukuro's doing, and Mukuro stopped him from doing anything reckless, and they end up going on another date, I guess, whatsoever, you know. Um, we have to it that Origami, who apparently does not remember him, actually has another personality or another side of her, you know, since, like, um, she came from a different timeline, I guess she fused or merged with the current or the current origami that we know like um in another timeline whatever you want to call it you know that kind of thing but um eventually as time continues on in a certain way um that um as time continues on it looks like to me that um toka her inverse form ends up taking taking over again and it looks like to me origami from a from the different origami ends up talking to Shido, while the inverse Toka shows up and was trying to kill Shido, you know, whatever the case may be. It looks like to me that um, Mukuro and and this inverse form of Toka was about to fight each other, but apparently it looks like to me, Origami suggests like, um, hey, 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 calm the hell down, okay? Let's do this in a way that doesn't involve a lot of violence. Whoever can steal his lips first is the winner. And you know, when it came to the restaurant, it looks like to me things are about to get Things kind of gotten a little hectic here and there involving trying to eat a cake whatsoever. You know, that kind of thing. Pretty dang cringe, right? I don't know. However you want to call it. Um, Things, yeah, like I said, things were getting a little, like, um, dangerous and ridiculous right now because of what's been happening. But that aside, um, it looks like to me, Toka and the others are not really... The inverse Toka and Mukuro are pretty much having a competition who to get to Shido in terms of, like, getting his lips first. And... When it comes to the cafe, including the maid and the cake, you know, oh man, it got very tense to a point to a certain situation. Preview next episode is called Key and Sword, you know. So overall on this episode, I can't really say much, but one thing's for sure, Mukuro is causing some crazy havoc again. And Inverse Toker, Inverse Toker shows up and getting ready to want to kill Shido because, you know, humiliation in Season 2, however you want to call it. But that aside, anyways, um... Yeah, Mukuro causing some trouble again, but not too much trouble, but some trouble. So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off as little. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.